Hello everyone. Convulsion, fits, seizure, epilepsy. What are all these terms stands for? And there is a lot of confusion among all these terms. Let us understand them clearly in this video. Now, first of all, understand this. Convulsion and seizure are symptoms. They are not diseases. Epilepsy is a brain disease. First of all, understand this difference. Convulsion, seizure are symptoms. They are not diseases. Whereas epilepsy is a brain disease. Then what is a convulsion is? Convulsion is a rapid involuntary muscle movement. Because of this, the total body limb movement is seen. That is what is convulsion is. As I told you, this is a symptom, not a disease. It occurs because of certain problems. What are the problems? When blood do not have enough glucose, when people have sudden fever spike, when there is a tetanus toxin effect or when there is an epilepsy disease is there. So convulsions could be caused by because of any of these things. Most of the time people think when someone shows convulsions, they have epilepsy disease. No, need not be. When people see, usually we observe with the students, they come and attend classes without taking breakfast. When they don't take breakfast, blood glucose level drops down. That may cause convulsions, rapid body movements in certain students, in certain people also. So that is what con convulsion is. So the underlying cause is low glucose level. It is not epilepsy or in young people, infants and children, when they have fever more than one or two degrees or one or three, three degrees, they may have convulsions, the rapid body movements. Again, that is not epilepsy. That is fever induced seizures. It is called as febrile seizures. It is not a disease. Now, when people are affected with the tetanus, the tetanus toxin will cause certain effects on brain and that may cause involuntary muscle movements. Again, the problem is tetanus, not epilepsy disease. Now, in people with epilepsy disease also, certain forms come out as convulsion, uh, convulsion problems. So now understand the differences. Convulsions could be because of epilepsy or non-epileptic convulsions also there. Non-epileptic means they don't have any brain problem. It is because of low glucose level, high fever or tetanus toxin. Or epilepsy also sometimes cause convulsions. Coming to the second one, seizure means uncontrolled brain excitatory action. Suddenly there is a burst of excitation in the brain and that is what is called as seizure. Epilepsy is characterized by seizures. So in a short span of time or if someone is showing multiple seizures, then it is considered as epilepsy disease. A single seizure effect could not be considered as disease. When multiple times when people are getting seizures, it is considered as epilepsy. So this is what is the difference is. Now, coming to see most of the time people get convulsions. Now, what we need to do is don't get panic. Don't try to feed or give fluid to them because when they have uh, uncontrolled body movements are there, they cannot take food or fluids. See, we have a food pipe and wind pipe is there. If you try to put something when they are, there is a violent movement is there, the food or water may get into wind pipe. They may get into lungs, which will worsen the condition. So don't do it. Don't try to control the convulsions also. Just leave them as such. It will be there only for two to three minutes. After that, they don't even know what happened to them because it is intense activity. Their energy levels will go down. Let them calm down. Tell them nothing has happened and slowly and then try to feed them. When they are, when they are completely out of convulsions, then try to give anything to them. This is how we need to take care of them. Regarding epilepsy, they need to consult a doctor and they need to take a, a, a therapy course. The drug course need to be given. So this is what is about convulsions, epilepsy and seizure. Now, FITS is another name for seizures. The uncontrolled brain excited reaction is also called as FITS. So I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching this video.